Hey guys, it's Hamish from Income Stream Surfers. I couldn't go to work today because my car broke down, so uh, I want to use this time to release a Redbubble video, and I'm going to show you something that I, I thought of a long time ago. Um, and if you've been my subscriber for a while, you'll know that this method is really, really good for finding low competition keywords by using uh, search operators. So I've already got the search operator here, but I'm going to create it from uh, scratch so that you can see how I'm actually doing it. So as usual, site redbubble.com, that's just standard search operator method. In URL, we want to put shop and then minus people. So this only gives us results like this. For example, this is called a Redbubble search result page. But as you can see on this page here, it says 2,223 results. So we can actually use this to narrow down the results to only show us things that have 10 results, for example. As you can see, there are 69,300 results. So just think about that for a second. And then even further, what we can do is we can put things that only started ranking in the past week. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too quick for everybody. Let's, uh, let's do a couple of um, searches. And then after this, I'm going to do an hour or two of research. And I'm going to put the keywords that I found onto, um, onto my Patreon. Okay, so Wolverines Ice Hockey, that's probably copyright. Gartic Free, what does that mean, Gartic Free? What does that mean? I've never heard of that. So you always want to Google it. What is this? It's a game. Oh, I played this with some students. Yeah, okay, never mind. Monster Vision, probably copyright. Item Senna, that's almost definitely going to be, um, oh no, it's not. It's not anime. Oh, it's in Senna. It's the, uh, the driver, right? It's the Brazilian driver. If I'm correct, yeah, I am. Uh, so let's say this. And then you could also, you would have to check whether this is copyright, of course, before you make any designs. 207 results on Etsy. And we've got 659. That's weird because right here. Oh, Nacionale. I didn't see that part of the keyword. Okay, well, that's just a way to, um, yeah, add some relevancy, I guess. A lot of these seem to be, um, what's it called? Copyright, so that's kind of annoying. There's nothing else here, so we'll put it on the past month, just so we have a bit more to work with. Yeah, Bernie, I don't know what that means. How many pages are there here? There's only six pages. Hmm, I don't know what this means, but it could be an interesting keyword. I don't know what that means. Oh, yeah, sorry, I should have explained. Another thing you can do is you can change this number to whatever you want. So let's put 11, see how many pages there are. There's another six pages. So these are all different from the ones that are under the 10 category. That's the really, really good thing about this method. It's pretty much unlimited uh, keywords, if you think about it. It's literally unlimited keywords because you can just keep going with any number here. So let's put nine, for example. How many results? Five pages of results this time. And if you want to, let's put this on uh, any time. And if you want to narrow it down even further, you can put here. This should work, but it might not. Entitle, I don't know, coffee. Okay, 28 results. NPC coffee. Okay, nice, nice. 151 coffee art prints. Lipstick tattoos coffee. Such a good keyword, like... Wait, what? That's such a good keyword. Amazon, obviously, of course. T Public, interesting. How many results does this have? Or is this a, oh, no, it's a thingy. It's a, oh, interesting. This might actually have good searches per month. Like, this is a really, really good potential keyword. I can't find any hrefs. I think I closed it. Oh, no, there it is. Let's actually see how many results this has. I'm really, really curious about this. Oh, zero, apparently. I doubt that it's actually zero though, but yeah. Aluminium coffee mugs, no. Coffee then, coffee then talkie. That's a really, good, really good keyword. I love that keyword. Google it, see what comes up. Etsy first, how many results? 1,000 plus. Oh, it might be a different spelling of the name, the word. 22 results. That's a really good keyword, guys. Little hint for you, that's an incredibly good keyword. You could be here 
in 48 hours by just making a design. Like it's really, really simple. Coffee then to Orky. Let's have a look. Okay, I think what I'm actually going to do is I am going to show you the process of uploading a product because I have not done that in a while. I'm going to use PhotoP uh, instead of Canva just because PhotoP is completely free. There's no worries to be had, etc., etc. So merch, no, uh, what are they called? No, what are they called? Um, oh, merch Titans Dimensions Redbubble. Uh, they had a really good answer somewhere, but I think it's, uh, wait, I've got it saved on my computer. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, it's a PHP file now for some reason. Okay, never mind. I can't open the file. I think it's 5,400 by um, 4,500, maybe. Uh, so you want to make sure it's transparent, obviously. That's just pretty basic stuff. Uh, 4,500. I'm pretty sure these are the right dimensions, or it might be the other way around. I would check this yourselves, but I'm sure this will be fine. So you, all you want to do is click here, and you can copy and paste the keyword, and then you can just make it a lot bigger so that you can see it. Oops. Let's just make it bigger so we know what we're working with, and then we'll make it even bigger. So we'll make it uh, 500 pixels. Okay, so what I personally like to do, and I, I would I would uh, listen to this, guys. This is a really, really good tip. I like to make it slightly different. So if I go on here... Uh, coffee before talkie, coffee before talkie, coffee before talkie. Interesting. But the keyword is coffee then talkie. Or is that why I googled? Oh, this might have way more results. Yeah, this will have way more results on Redbubble, I guess. If it still has 22, no, this is a really, really good keyword. Uh, so first of all, the thing that I can make different is I can use then instead of before. No talkie before coffee. That's a really good one. Coffee before talkie. Talkie with an E. Coffee first, then talkie. Okay, so I'm just making it slightly different just to add something new. Okay, so you want to make sure that it's big enough so that people can see it. And then we're going to choose a text. I think I'm going to put it centered as well. Another thing you could do if you wanted, but I'm not going to do it in this video just because I want to make a kind of quick video, is you could add like a sunset preset, which I actually thinking about, I might have one. So sunset, no, I don't have one, so that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose a very readable text. So you want to highlight everything and this is these are the texts, I think, yep. So we want readable, but also maybe like kind of interesting. So we'll try that. I think that's fine, honestly. The spacing's good. You can read it very clearly. Uh, you could put a little picture of a coffee or something, but I really don't think it's necessary with this uh, particular design. I would say this is done. Maybe adding, um, we want it black on white or white on black. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make all of this text and I'm going to make it white. Okay, that's not how you do that. That's still not how you do that. How do you change the... Oh, it's at the top there. So you want to highlight it and then just uh, yeah, drag that over to white. Okay, perfect. So now we go file and we go to export as and you want to pick PNG. Uh, because PNG will uh, retain its um, transparency. I'll just call it hello. It doesn't really matter what you call it. Go to Redbubble. Go to add new work. I've just shared my se super secret Redbubble that's been secret for so long. I don't really use it anymore, though, honestly. This is the first design I'm uploading in a very long time. Okay, so someone has been asking me how to rank on Redbubble using the back end of Redbubble. The first thing that you want to do is you want to get your main keyword and you want to put it as the, uh, the what's it called? Uh, also, yeah, you want to change the background color to black, obviously, for this. Coffee, then talkie. So look, as you can see here, it's black on white, which I really, really like that style. Coffee, then talkie, um, funny. I don't know, it doesn't really matter what you write there. So first one is going to be that, and then any variations. Um, 
and then I'm going to use, um, you can either use search operators or you can use uh, this, first coffee, then talky. Okay, so that's another variation, so we'll put that here. I'm actually going to put the word first here as well. Coffee first, uh, because this will boost, uh, it, this is the H1. If you don't know what H1 is, then it just means heading one. It's the, it's the main thing, main part of a page, and it's the thing that most people agree has the strongest SEO. So you want to make sure that you put the keyword there. Next thing you can do uh, is you can use Google if there aren't any things on the... Um, What's it called? The um, Ahrefs Keyword Generator, and there's nothing on Google either, either, which is kind of strange. Uh, none of these are useful, honestly. Okay, so uh, yeah, I would use uh, Ahrefs Keyword Generator. You can just put coffee, then talk. See if that comes up with anything. Coffee, then talk. First coffee, then talk. I, I mean, I guess, but they're kind of the same here. Uh, and then I guess we just go with generic um, coffee T-shirt. Uh, I mean, why is it why a gun T-shirt? We talking about espresso? Yeah, so you can think of like variations, so like espresso, lover, um, coffee addict, um, coffee in the morning, first coffee of the day. Don't talk to me until I've had Okay, so description, th those tags, I made those up, okay? You don't don't get too bogged down on tabs, uh, tags. Honestly, I think this is more important than tags. As long as you have a good solid keyword, which is the keyword that we found here, and you have a slight variation, and you've got no problems with the design, like it's not white on white or black on black, you will, you will sell. So let's uh, create a description. So this is a perfect gift for a coffee loving addict um, or just for yourself white on black uh, t-shirt with coffee quote coffee first then talky funny t-shirt I really don't care about descriptions either like I honestly think the most important thing is just the main keyword and I'm sure people disagree with me and I will get flamed, but like I just, I just don't think they're that important. Like as long as you have some logical uh, tags, then you'll be fine. I would say this is actually more important, this part, because you need to make sure first of all that people can read it, and it needs to be censored, and it needs to look really, really nice. And you need to, you need to really take some time on here, which is why I actually recommend people use, um, what's it called? Um, merch titans because this takes up so much of your time that it's almost not worth it if you don't use merch titans so you want to make sure it's on every possible product as well uh hello okay i'm going to pause this part but i don't know why that's not working you want to make sure that it's not cut off at any point or anything like that. Please, guys, like spend time doing this. It takes a while, but if you want to sell on Redbubble, this is one of the most important things you have to do. We can just accept these, accept these, accept these. Uh, sticker, sure. It'll, I think you'll be able to read it. <laughs> I don't really know. Just make little edits here and there. If necessary, desk mats are now available. Mouse pads are now available. That's really cool. I'm really happy with that. Uh, yeah just need to make some smaller I will give you one more tip so I'm just gonna skip through this just accept accept whatever accept it all I know that these this one for example is not perfect but I'll come back and do this another time I just want to show you one more tip before I go let's disable that because they're not viewable okay so people often wonder how to make uh, the special items at the bottom okay I get this question quite a lot actually and what you can do is you can just choose a pattern here and put regular grid. It kind of doesn't let you press it though, sometimes. 
I mean, it's not perfect, but it's better than not being able to, like, read it, for example. Same thing with socks. If you wanted, you can just put a pattern like this. And then, like this. Is there another one? If I zoom all the way out? No. There used to be, I swear. I don't know what happened. I don't know why this is still broken. It's been broken for absolutely ages. It's actually insane how long it's been broken for. So apply changes there. They're really, really small. But now we can enable them. And then I won't do the rest of them because I can't be bothered right now. Uh, this is designer illustration, digital art, I think. I don't. I still don't really know. No. Yes. And then we do one more check. But I'm actually happy with this. And I honestly believe that this will sell at some point. If I wasn't uploading this video. Because now I upload this video. Probably most people that see this are going to make this design. Okay, so... If you want to support me and if you want to get the keyword list that will come from the research that I'm about to do, feel free to join my uh, Patreon, Income Stream Surfer. Um, it's only $3 a month and I'm releasing three or four keyword uh, lists every month. I really hope this video helps some people and I'll see you really soon with some more content. Peace out.